My rule of thumb for any photo shoots I do is that it has to be either cinematic or abstract. And if I'm lucky, it'll end up being both. Street photography is fun because you never really know what shots you're going to get when you leave the house. But with portrait photography, there needs to be a plan of action before even picking up your camera in order to let everything run smoothly. For beginners, it might be scary to even think about planning your first photo shoot. So I thought I'd make this video and run through some of the basic stuff that I do to ensure that myself and my model are on the same page during our photo shoot. The first thing you have to establish is who exactly you're going to be shooting with. It can be a family member or even a friend, but if you wish to work with another creative outside of your own personal bubble, DM people and see if anyone wants to collab in order to help build up each other's portfolios. Don't hesitate to ask. Once you and your model have confirmed that you want to work together, it's good to get an idea of what you want to be produced from this shoot. What kind of vibe is it? What will your subject be wearing? And will that affect the location of the shoot? This is the time to find some inspiration. I'd recommend looking through Pinterest and creating a board for all of your photography inspiration. You can also create a collaboration board where you and your subject can add pins to get a solid idea of the shoot. Where are you shooting? Inside or outdoors? A studio can be difficult to find when on a tight budget, so finding a good place to shoot will be crucial. The time of the shoot is also important, as the lighting changes drastically depending on if you're shooting during the afternoon or during golden hour. Make sure you create a gear list. There have been times I've completely forgotten items I needed and had to go home to collect it. It's a hassle and you don't want additional stress on the day. Write a quick list in your notes and go through it before you leave to ensure that everything you need is there. But what exactly should you be packing in your bag for your photo shoot? The gear you use can help make your life easier when doing a photo shoot. I would recommend to anyone starting out to use a prime lens, preferably a 50mm lens or a 35mm lens with a low aperture so you can get that shallow depth of field in your photos. It's all about preference at the end of the day, but these two lenses are great because they're not too wide and they're also not too compressed. Regarding the camera you use, an entry level DSLR will produce great portraits, so don't think that you need to have the new camera on the market to produce good photos. If the camera you use has some type of face tracking feature, like my Panasonic G85 does, use that to your advantage wherever you can, so long as you don't rely on it too much. And remember to pack extra batteries and cleaning equipment such as a blower and a microfiber cloth. These will come in handy and make sure you get no dust or dirt in your camera sensor. Don't be afraid to try new things during the shoot. Communicate what you have in mind with your subject and see what they think. They might even have something they want to try out. Communicating properly can lead to great things, which is something that rings true to most things in life. Be creative, shoot at a low angle, at a high angle, mess around with the composition and dirty the frame up a little bit. You want your body of work from this shoot to be as eclectic as it can be in order to stand out. And most importantly, be confident. Believe in your craft, believe in, believe, believe in your source, what? If someone wants to shoot with you, it's because they have faith that you'll be able to create something amazing. It might be daunting at first, but I can assure you once you get into it, it won't seem as nerve wracking and might even end up being really fun. So go out there and go take some pictures, make some memories, inject your own personality into your work, and most importantly, enjoy yourself. <laughs>